Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Realistic 151 project, the series where I draw realistic versions of the first generation of Pokemon using the concepts of stylization and informed biology to inform my designs. Today, continuing our quest to draw every Pokemon in the original Pokedex, we are on Rattata and Raticate. Rattata, Rattata. Was I the only one who pronounced Rattata as Ratatat when I was a kid? No? Just me? Anyways. When designing my Rattata, there's a pretty obvious direction that I knew that I should go in, as let's be honest, this is not the most creative design that the Pokemon companies made. So I took reference from giant rats that I used for most of the body, and used some reference of squirrel tails for the tail, as the squirrel tail looks uh, a lot more like a squirrel tail than a rat's tail. I found it odd that on the original there is only an upper set of teeth and no lower set, and though I did try to stay as close to the original design as possible, it just looks too strange without the lower set. For accuracy's sake, I went with white pupils for the red eyes, which uh, is something that I'd probably reconsider if I ever did this design again, as it looks just a tad bit too unrealistic, as I think the original's white pupils were probably meant to reference how rats' eyes glow in the dark. The last hurdle I had was coloring this design. Originally, I wanted to go with a darker shade, as vibrant blues and purples are not super common in nature. However, uh, black looked a little too much like a Lolan Raticate, so I went with a less saturated purple instead. So this is my interpretation of Rattata, the mouse Pokemon? Yeah, these early categorizations are like all over the place. Uh, this ain't no mouse that I've ever seen. When it came to Raticate, I took similar anatomical references to Rattata. However, I also decided to shift my approach of how I designed this one. When it comes to these early root Pokemons especially, the Pokemon company really did just slap a weird color on an existing animal and call it a day. However, with a lot of the Gen 1 Pokedex, they seemed to have a very similar approach to their designs as fantasy RPGs of the time did. Uh, by taking heavy reference from real, from real world creatures and using them in a way to make a less than realistic design. Although there is certainly not anything unrealistic about a large rat, which Raticate simply is, I still wanted to do the RPG enemy design route and focus on some of the less realistic proportions. Still though, I was designing a realistic version of Raticate, so I knew that I had to let biology inform certain aspects of the design, like how the legs are positioned. As in the original, they're just sort of poking out of the bottom of its round body, and although that might work in a cartoon video game, it definitely doesn't work for this project. A real rodent leg would have multiple joints sitting under layers of muscle, tissue, and fur that would give it a very distinct form uh, that, although wouldn't look too dissimilar from afar, still required me to come up with a way that the individual segments of, the, of this leg would interact with each other. At the end of the day, I went a similar approach to how the Skyrim developers developed their skeevers, attempting to create a less realistic creature that takes a lot of hyper-realistic aspects from the real world. I realized how important texture was with this design, as getting the fur right went a long way in giving this version that flesh and blood look. Speaking of, for my note about owning this Pokemon in real life, I feel like it would be similar to having a large rodent like a capybara, and well, Rattata would just kind of be like having a rat. So they'd probably honestly make a pretty good pet. The worst of your problems would be that you might have to worry about them chewing a hole in your drywall and making a nest in there. I feel like the real danger with these Pokemon would be the wild ones, as at this size I'm sure they pose a significant safety concern. Uh, a rodent infestation in the Pokemon world might mean that you and your pets may be at risk of being mauled by a three-foot-tall rat with kitchen knives as teeth. So, here's my interpretation of Raticate the mouse Pokemon again? Brother, uh, there are at least two other mouse Pokemon I know of in the first generation alone. You don't want to go with, I don't know, rat Pokemon maybe? <laughs> so here are my designs for Rattata and Raticate. It was a shorter video this week. The, these are actually designs that I've had done since June. However, they were a big victim of my burnout as I simply did not have the effort to make them into an actual video until now. I'm definitely very happy with how they came out, however, and I feel like I have a new appreciation for these designs that I didn't have before I drew them in my own style. They are, however, still just early root Kanto Mons uh, that are basically just animals, which isn't to say that they're not interesting, but I'm also not, not saying that. 
Speaking of, for future episodes of the series, I'm going to continue drawing members of the Kanto Pokedex, however, I don't think I'm going to stay doing it in dex order, as I have some ideas for some later mons that I really want to tackle now, and I also want to give some of these earlier mons that are maybe a little less interesting some time to ruminate so I can make every design at least a little bit unique and visually interesting. So the next two, if not more, will be out of deck's order, as I've drawn a few lines that I've had very strong visions of in my head, so I hope that you all look forward to those. And of course, going out of order means I'm not tied to which Pokemon I can tackle next, so tell me what Generation 1 Pokemon you'd like to see next in the comments below. Also, let me know if I should include cross-generation Pokemon when I draw future lines. I probably won't draw regional forms, however. Uh, I do want to complete each evolutionary line, in, which in many cases means that I'll have to take from generation 2 or 4 or, or beyond. So let me know if I should just stick with the original 151 or add in their additional evolutions in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching. A special thanks to my patrons S.T.E., Alan Michael White, R.O. Bolt, and Griffin for your continued support. It truly means the world. If you want to join them in their support of the series like Realistic 151 on this channel by getting cool perks like early access to my videos, then you can do so by clicking the link below and signing up for as little as $3 a month. Even better, it's no commitment, so if you find that it's not really your thing, you can cancel at any time. Thank you again to my patrons, and thank you all for watching. If you like this video, then leave a like, and if you want to see more like it, then subscribe. And turn on the bell to get notified when I upload next.